everyone so today we're going to test and see if fabric softener can actually fix a really messed up shiny wig i've been reading online of how to make those cheap synthetic wigs actually look nice and not cheap and shiny and a lot of people online seem to either swear by the fabric softener method or they say it doesn't help at all and i've seen some people say that baby powder really helps a lot and some people say that doesn't help at all uh so today or more like today slash over the next few days, I want to try and see if that actually does make a difference or not. So yeah, just keep on watching if you'd like to see if it's actually going to work out or not, and hopefully it does. So as we can see here, this wig is Nezuko from Demon Slayer, and it is super duper shiny. We'll get a bit closer. So here we can see just with the ceiling lights how shiny the black part of the wig is. And if we go down to the orange part, this looks so bad and it's so shiny. The part where it kind of goes from the black to the orange isn't too bad, but the orange gets more and more shiny as we go down. And all I've done to this wig is I sprayed it with a little bit of detangler and brushed it out. So hopefully the fabric softener will make a big difference. So here's what you're going to need to try to do this experiment. So you obviously need your wig, your very shiny, gross wig, baby powder, which we'll put on after we wash it in the fabric softener, fabric softener, like the liquid kind, not the sheets, and of course a bucket because we're going to have this soak for I think about five days. So I mixed together one part fabric softener, three parts water, and I did that three times. And you can see we got about maybe like two or three cups of water. So I'm gonna dump the wig in and we'll see if I made enough solution to actually submerge all of the wig. There we go, so now we're back with the wig submerged. So I actually had to add four more of the water fabric softener mixtures. So one part fabric softener and three parts water. And while I was doing this, I just, I didn't use a measuring cup or anything. I just used the top of the fabric softener container thingamajig. So now it's fully submerged and we'll let this hang out for five days according to what the internet says and we'll see if that makes any kind of difference. Hey guys, so it's been five days and this wig looking pretty gross, pretty wet. So I'm gonna wash it off in the shower and I'll show you guys what it looks like in a couple of minutes. So I rinsed it out. Um, I actually didn't pour water on it. I was thinking about rinsing it but then I was reading online that a lot of people don't actually rinse it. They just kind of like squeeze the excess water out and let it dry. So we can see it looks a little less shiny. Just trying to see it's the lighting in the bathroom isn't the best. But it's not looking too shiny or not as shiny as it was, I think. And then the orange part, which was looking really bad, it's looking... Wow, it's really like not in focus. Focus camera. If it can kind of focus. Um, but you can see the orange. I definitely notice a big difference in the orange not being as shiny. So hopefully this makes a big difference. The other th negative thing I notice is that this is like a, obviously really cheap. Um, but if you look here, like you can see all of the wig cap, like. I'm not sure if I lost a bit of hair or if it's just because it's wet that it looks like a lot of hair is missing. But we'll let this dry overnight and then I'll comb it out and I'll give you guys an update. And so it's the next day after letting the wig dry. And this morning I actually had to rinse some of the fabric softener out. Not all of it, but just a little bit of it. Because it was smelling so strong and it was awful and my whole apartment smells like fabric softener. So. If you're gonna do this at home, I would definitely suggest using non-scented fabric softener unless you want every single thing to reek of fabric softener. So anyway, I did this morning, I rinsed it out a little bit in the bathtub and then let it dry again. So let's see how it's looking. So the black, I don't know if you can tell on the camera with the lights and everything, but the black is still shiny and you can still see the wig cap, but hopefully it does better once I brush it out. Uh, so it is shiny. I'm a bit disappointed with how shiny the black part still is, but hopefully throwing some baby powder on there will help. Uh, and then if we go down to the orange part, 
I do notice quite a big difference with the orange if you're able to see. It seems like it's way less shinier and I found before like the black was bad but the orange was definitely the worst part. So to me that definitely looks like a bit of an improvement. So I'm going to brush this wig out and add a little bit of baby powder and I'll do another update for you guys. Okay, so I finished brushing out the wig and all I did actually is I didn't add any baby powder or talcum powder or whatever because I found that it wasn't as shiny as I thought it was going to be, which is great. Combed out the wig and I added a little bit of detangler to make it easier to comb out. And I'll get a little bit closer. So overall I'm pretty happy. The lights are making it look a little bit shiny. You can also see here if the camera will focus, maybe not, but you can see how there are some like bald spots or like places where you can see the wig cap. And I don't think that's because of how I wash the wig. I think it's because this is a very cheap wig and there's not a lot of hair in it. So it is what it is and a little bit of strategic placement and hairspray should hopefully fix that or make it not as obvious. Plus my natural hair is really dark anyway, so for me it's not as big of, of a problem. So the black part is still like a little bit shiny, but nothing too bad. I didn't expect it to be perfect, but I am pretty happy with how it looked. It did take a bit of a shine out. But the worst spot was down here with the orange. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I noticed a pretty big difference with the orange before it was like party city wig level of shiny and now I find it's still kind of shiny and you can obviously tell it's still a synthetic wig but I find it's a little bit less crazy. But yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks so much everyone for watching and I hope you found this video a little bit helpful and thanks again to everyone on Patreon that made all this possible. Thanks so much everyone!